Hi everyone, thank you for tuning into our Pop Shop campaign pitch. Where's Madison Avenue? My name's Grace. I'm Kirsten. I'm Katie. I'm Kaylin. I'm Brendan. And I'm Sam. And today we're gonna walk you guys through our campaign for the Pop Shop. The Pop Shop is a Canadian soda brand looking to expand into the US soda market. So we're gonna go through our research and creative brief and then go through our print ads, our social media ads, an out of home ad, our guerrilla marketing plan, and then lastly, our unique take on branded product placement. So first we're going to go over some of our key research findings. First, our secondary data findings showed that our brand has a couple things that set it apart. First, all pop shop flavors are sweetened with real cane sugar. And second is pop shop's unique history as one of Canada's top beverages when it debuted in the late 60s. After gaining popularity in the US and then leaving the shelves completely, Pop Shop came back to Canada in 2004 and is now ready for its US debut. Now for our primary data, we compiled our quantitative data from around 300 responses to a survey about soda drinking habits. So here are some of our major findings. We found our respondents were more likely to choose beverages sweetened with cane sugar over sweetened corn syrup. And we also found that regular soda drinkers are highly brand loyal but light and first time users are drawn to carbonated soft drinks made with real fruit. Our qualitative data was gathered from a series of interviews from which we learned that word of mouth and social media recommendations are of high importance when deciding whether to try something new. And when it comes to unique or specialty soda flavors, people tend to lean towards familiar fruity flavors with a twist. For the Pop Shop campaign, we decided on having the Gen Z population be the target market. These are the 16 year olds that have been raised in a tech world. They are always on the lookout for new trends to hop onto. Gen Z was the perfect target because of the retro and vintage vibes of the Pop Shop, which aligned with the current trends. The main goals for our campaign were to, pr were to promote brand recall, define the brand's image for the US market and give the brand a social meaning. As you'll soon be able to see from our, our advertisements, we met these goals using a consistent tagline, retro aesthetics, and by creating interac interactivity within the campaign to form a pop shop community. The creative strategy statement, which aligned our entire campaign is the pop shop will make your life a little sweeter. Each ad promotes finding your sweetness in life through the retro, playful, and innovative tone. For our print ads, we wanted to create full page colorful ads with cohesive designs that could be placed in a magazine that has similar readership demographics to our target audience. Our headline as we as insert experience here gave us a reusable template that we could use to connect to our targets experiences that they have already had and also create a positive association between their own memories and our product. This ad here depicts a representative stand-in of our target audience, relaxing and listening to music on their day off while enjoying a pop shop soda. Here, the images, colors, and design elements all work together to emphasize the product in a way that is trendy and attention-grabbing to the uh, target audience. So following along with the campaign concept of As Sweet As, the idea behind this second print ad is the sweetness of a first date. Rather than being people in the ad, there's two uh, pop shop sodas, which are instead the focal point. The bright sodas are gonna stand out against the uh, city background, which is blurred, but also bright. So it's complementing that as well. And by taking the people's place, the sodas are gonna take on all the connotations that one would normally bring to this uh, first date setting. The other de design decisions like the font and these retro lines, as well as the colors used are following along with the aesthetic of the campaign. For the last print ad, we decided to make one that was about one of the most universal sweet experiences, the first day of summer. This ad here makes the product the center stage and the background image provides context for the concept without being distracting. In addition, the universal experience that it depicts creates a sense of familiarity and community within viewers. Now we're gonna go ahead and watch our 30 second TV ad spot. Just a heads up, it might lag just a little bit between the video and the audio just because of the Zoom sharing features. Sweet. Sweet. 
sweet. Sweet. Sweet. Find your sweetness with the Pop Shop. Find all 10 flavors in a grocery store near you. So our idea behind this ad is that in life's sweetest moments, Pop Shop is there with you. Whether it's finding money in your pocket, finishing a long hike, hanging out with friends, having a picnic, or watching people surf, Pop Shop Soda can make your life a little sweeter. So these video clips are all activities that the Gen Z community could relate to since they're, they are experiencers, and so this helps foster community with the brand at the focus. These are all screenshots of where the product fits into the TV ad. So the first screenshot is on the table in front of the man finding money. The second one is next to the skateboarders that are also watching their friend. The next one is um, like a guy sitting there drinking a pop shop after finishing a hike. And then the girl is sitting uh, having a picnic, texting and playing on their phones while having a pop shop. And then the last one is surfers kind of watching over the ocean um, with pop shop in the van and down by their sides. Moving on to social media, the first platform we decided to use is Instagram. Um, Instagram is an image and video sharing platform that is wildly popular with Gen Z. So this first ad is a carousel ad. And basically it, um, what that means is it's just a collection of a few photos within a single post that the viewer would see on their feed. The purpose of this one was to introduce a few of the Pop Shop's flavors to our target. Um, like I said earlier, the Pop Shop has 10 unique flavors and the illustrative design of this ad will help cut through the clutter of their usual feed and introduce them to just a few of the options that they have to choose from. Um, within each image of the soda, there are short descriptions as well as information about the brand's history at the end. And since we only introduced three of the 10 photos in this series, it provides the potential for continuation in the future. Um, also, like I said earlier, we have the retro aesthetic that connects to the overall campaign branding. So for our second Instagram ad format, we created a, an explore page ad. This ad format is uh, valuable for the campaign because we can target the desired demographic while they're scrolling through their feeds. The design decisions, once again, they mimic the retro aesthetic we're going for. This time there's like a swirling retro background. Um, the ad caption, with so many flavors to choose from, it can be hard to pick just one. It relates to the uh, changing of the bottles that occurs within the ad and the movement and interactivity that's in the ad is meant to grab the user's attention while they're scrolling through their feeds. Uh, and there may be like a lot of other posts or ads that are uh, trying to get their attention as well. So this will stick out. So next is an example of a photo ad for Instagram. Um, personally curated photo posts have always been a mainstay of Instagram. So this ad builds on the motif of our print ads, as sweet as, but with an emphasis on trends and aesthetics. Uh, we hope to inspire followers to use the hashtag as a way to share images or videos of themselves finding their own sweetness by finding a new hobby, learning a cool new trick, or just hanging with friends. The fourth type of Instagram ad that we're doing is a collection ad. So this shows off multiple ads in one square in which a user can click on to see the larger version of the ad and also see the price of the product shown. We used trendy kind of lifestyle content pictures that Gen Z can kind of relate to and get drawn to. Um, we also used a variety of different flavors in each of the individual ad sections. This way to just, we can show off the different options that Pop Shop has. Um, using this kind of ad is really great for breaking into the U.S. market because people can buy directly from this ad feature. So uh, Instagram not only has images, but they also have video ads. So we, in order to, um, so what we have done is taken our TV ad and condensed it down to 20 seconds. This is, uh, this will also be aired at the same time uh, as the TV ad in hopes to sort of gain sort of a cohesiveness in our whole campaign between ads. Uh, things that we have done are changed to a brighter filter so it gives a sort of a better match uh, and feeling to Instagram as a whole.
With the Instagram story ad, we wanted to create something that was interactive and eye-catching. By creating a poll, viewers of the Pop Shop Instagram story can vote on their favorite flavor of soda and see if, they're, if they side with the majority. This is a great way to both introduce some of the Pop Shop flavors and create a sense of community for those with similar flavor preference. To promote brand recall and to find the Pop Shop image, we use the same consistent retro elements to create the design. The next social media platform that we decided to use is Visco. Um, Visco is another image sharing platform that is gaining a lot of popularity within our target market and on this platform, aesthetics reign supreme. Um, what's really unique about Visco though is that they actually do not have any paid advertising on their platform. So we propose that the brand would create a profile on Visco and post relatable lifestyle images that would help them gain a more organic following that will take a little bit more time, but it will ultimately build more lasting and valuable impressions on the target market, as well as other members of the Visco community. For the out of home ad, we wanted to place it somewhere the target market would see it the most. So we decided to place the ad on the back of a truck. Since the target market is newly licensed, they will be eager to drive all over the place and we'll see the out of home ad in a variety of locations on the road. With the out of home ad, we were able to create a sense of community by coming up with a shared sweetness for everyone behind the wheel. There is no greater feeling than hitting every green, green light, like there is nothing greater than drinking a pop shop soda. For our guerrilla marketing plan, we made a pop-up pop shop vending machine. So this vending machine would give out free sodas for everyone passing by so that they're able to sample it as it's entering the US market. The vending machine would be placed in an outdoor area where there's shops, restaurants, and some apartments so that it's seen by a variety of people, including our Gen Z audience. Having this vending machine would help enter the US market and create community about around, among everyone who tried it that day and also spread word of mouth advertising through the social media that it could gain. The vending machine offers three unique flavors. We did cream soda just because it's such a classic flavor, orange soda because it shows off the fruity options that Pop Shop has, and then cotton candy soda to show that Pop Shop has a lot of unique flavor options. So our unique take on branded product placement was instead of going the traditional route of a TV or a movie branded product placement, we decided to go with a video game, specifically Among Us, which is very, very popular amongst the Gen Z crowd. Um, Among Us is a social deduction game where 10 crewmates are going around their station trying to complete tasks in order to save their station. Two of those 10 are imposters that are meant to sabotage the rest of the crewmates. The crew wins by completing their tasks to get the bar all the way full and the imposters win by sabotaging everybody. Um, part of the, one of the tasks in Among Us is a vending machine task where you're, um, where you need to just buy a beverage. Uh, Way, the way we've done it is that we've placed Pop Shop in that vending machine. As you can see in number two, in this case, a one. Uh, when you're tasked to, in, in our case, when, our, when you're tasked to grab Pop Shop, the task will specifically say to buy Pop Shop rather than just to buy a beverage. Um, in order to complete this task, you need to put input the right letter and number to get the, to get the product that you need. Uh, once this is completed, the task is done and you go about your the rest of the game. Okay, so that about wraps up our presentation of our ideas for the Pop Shop brand. Thank you everyone for attending. Does anyone have any questions for us? <laughs>